Okay, when I got my Bug 6, I just, um, I ordered the basic quad, no, uh, no camera, no FPV, nothing like that, just the basic bird. So I ordered some FPV stuff. I got this transmitter, it's a Eocene TX801. Uh, 5.8 gigahertz, 72 channels for this uh, transmitter. Um, right now it's on sale at Banggood for like 14 bucks. But um, I used the US Direct. I paid 20 for this transmitter, 72 channels. But the milliwatts go from 0 to 5 to 25, 50, 100, 200, 400. And 600 milliwatts um, and I think it got pretty good reviews on there too um, I ordered these two mushroom antennas off of uh, eBay actually and I think I only gave three dollars for the pair had to wait a while for them but they came in um, they're probably not the greatest but they're gonna work for now for what I need um, this camera is a CCD camera 1000 TVL let me pull up a little bit more info on it it's a one-third CCD 110 degree 2.8 millimeter lens wide voltage from 5 to 20 volts mini FPV camera and uh, a lot of people like this thing too Let's see if you can see that it got really good reviews um, it's only 12 13 dollars right now so I think that's a good deal if it works out um, I got one of these little elbow connectors, the, okay, go back, RPSMA male to RPSMA female right, <coughs> right angle RF adapter. I also ordered a couple of these straight connectors, but they haven't came in yet, so... So like 12, 13 bucks, 20 bucks, everything I got under 40 bucks for an FPV system, for a CCD camera. So, and I was kind of playing around in this thing, actually, this little grill here on the front of the bird, it'll fit down in there. And without making any modifications, I just got to figure out, you see, perfect. I don't know if you can see that, but I think that's going to work for me. So, I just need to figure out how to get all this stuff in here. Um, this just plugs in to this part. It was a little tight getting it in there. And these two wires here, they uh, <clears throat> they didn't have no connectors to them. I didn't want to solder onto the board, so I just took a 2S balance lead and soldered it onto that. And all I got to do is plug it into a balance lead on my battery. And then I got power. Turn on the monitor for my goggles. And then I got a picture. And uh, just from being here in the basement, seems like it's a pretty good picture. So I'm kind of excited to get it in the bird. So 
that's what I got. So I'm going to try and uh, get her in. And hope all goes well. All right. We'll be back. Okay, so got the FPV system in the Bug 6. It's not pretty. And this is probably just going to be temporary until I figure out a better system because I've used a bunch of double-sided tape. But I got an idea to do a more permanent fix for it, but I got everything in there. Camera, transmitter, antenna. So it fits all, fits in there. The canopy's a little tight on one side because this mount, this connector is sticking up a little far. So I'm going to work on that, get a better system figured out. But I got everything in there, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out for a short flight just to check the quality of the video. I'm not going to, you know, fly with goggles or anything. I'll just do a line of sight flight and uh, just to see the image quality. Um, since it does not record to an SD card, I'll have to take my uh, monitor out there to record the footage. So that's what I guess I'm going to do. I'm kind of curious to see how this uh, camera works out, and so I'll just go out and give it a quick test flight, and come back in and tell you what I think. Okay, so came back from the initial flight with my FPV system installed in the Bug Six. The initial test was a complete failure. Um. I would fly 10 to 15, maybe 20 feet, get major signal loss, static all over the screen. I get blue screen. Just it, it wasn't even flyable in FPV, um, so I was pretty disappointed. Um, I was talking with a guy who has uh, modded his Bugs 3 to the max and gets you know crazy range. Uh, he's installed. FPV, GPS, and everything else in his Bugs 3. It's just crazy what he's done. And um, he told me to go ahead and solder the power for the camera straight to where the battery is connected to the bird. So I did that using a JST connector. Um, don't know if you can see it here, but here's my JST connector. And um, underneath this padding is the 4-in-1 ESCs. I had to take two screws out and move that back to get to the power leads underneath here. It was kind of a drag, but not too, too bad. I was able to do it, and I'm not a professional solderer at, by any means. But I will tell you this, though. If you ever have to replace... This 4-in-1 ESC, it's probably going to suck big time. Just a lot of small soldering on top of that. So, I did that. And then, I moved my transmitter more to the center. And what I've done was, and then I just kind of hold all this stuff down with a little bit of tape, just to keep it all nice and neat. I drilled a hole in my uh, shell and I can put my antenna through the hole and mount it right to here. Now the only small issue is that I gotta do it like this. But it ain't that big of a deal. Now I got some other connectors coming that'll stick up through the top to where my antenna will connect easier. And that's basically all there is to it. And everything then snaps on. The shell's got no problems. 
Everything's nice and neat. Now, I've already tested this, but let's go ahead and uh, I'll show you. I'll turn on the monitor, put the battery in. Plug the battery in, and right away, I've got FTV feed. Now, it was working just like this before I took it out. So, I'm going to tell you something, and I'm kind of embarrassed to tell you, but I'm going to tell you anyhow. After I got all this set up, made sure everything was working properly I noticed something I had my transmitter inside the bird set to the lowest possible setting it was 0 0.01 milliwatts that's why I was having so much trouble with that video feed so now I have it set at 200 milliwatts so that ought to be an improvement. So that's where I'm at now. I guess the only thing left is to go out and give it a flight. So let's go check it out and see what we have. So I got the Bug 6. I got my FTV system installed. I'm going to give it a go. This will probably mainly be a line of sight flight just to check the video feed and a little breezy and overcast but if it uh if the video feeds all right i might try the goggles real quick all right let's power up and see what happens <laughs> Thank you. 